Well, I tried another uh, online webcam and it didn't work. I think this is the one I used last time. And yeah, this is the one I used last time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm experimenting with different online webcams because um, I'm pretending like I, I lost my Windows and that I have to use, yeah, this is the one I used last time. It worked. It just puts a watermark on it. You say, why are you doing this? Remember last week when I lost my um, ability to use Windows for a while? Because... The updates got really messed up, and I tried to. What happened at, is I tried to put in some uh, hard drives to see if I could. They would work because one of my Patreon supporters sent me a hard drive for um, that he said had Windows already installed on them, but they didn't work. One of them all I got was a black screen with a blinker. And the other one, I just got, um, I just got a, uh, it, it did some sort of download and it was about to like pull something up and then it, it stopped. And so I concluded that, um, that, that if I, this happened to me again, I'd be out of the internet and out of the use of my computer. <laughs> so I thought, but I thought one of these hard drives seems like it would work if you're able to get a Linux operating system to boot on it. And what I did is I said, if you, I told myself, let's go put that other hard drive back in there and see if we can uh, uh, get Windows back up again. So I put it back in there and Windows was in the middle of undoing some updates because they weren't working out, and it was saying the updates didn't take, and we have to undo them, and then it froze, and that's what. I, but but when I plugged that hard drive back in there, it said the it was continuing to undo the updates for some odd reason that caused it to kick in again, <laughs> and it finished, and I was able to get back into Windows, and I thought, okay, I said I am going to create a backup drive that works. <laughs> see, I thought I could just keep from restarting the computer. See, if I restart the computer or if I sign out, then I get, then the Windows updates kick in. Even though I used group policy on my computer to say not to do the updates. So I thought, you got to make a backup drive that works. And I was able to figure out how to do it. I, so I downloaded the ISO file for Linux Lite. And then I downloaded a program so that I could put it on a DVD disc, a bootable DVD disc. And then I stuck that into my computer and was able to, and what I did is after, once I made a bootable DVD disc, I took the hard drive out and I put in the backup hard drive that I wanted to use with Linux. And I put that in my computer then I stuck the bootable DVD in there, and it caused the, um, I was able to install Linux Lite to my backup. And it worked. I, went, I was able to get it to, to work. I mean, I, when I put that hard drive in my computer, I'm able to get onto Linux Lite. So if this happens to me again, if this happens to me again, I will be able to, uh, <laughs> I will be able to, uh, Get the internet. You, it has Linux Lite has GIMP, Firefox, VLC, and LibreOffice installed on it. So what I did is I kind of explored Linux Lite for a couple days on my uh, computer, and I've learned I learned that I have a really hard time downloading software on there. Maybe it's because I'm not familiar with Linux, but but if I go online like I'm doing now, I'm pretending like I can make a YouTube video. Um, and uh, <laughs> it has a video editor called OpenShot, which is not as good as my VSDC on Windows, which I can use. But if worse comes to worse, there might be an online video editor that I can use. 
And so I'll be able to do all my Patreon stuff. For Discord, all I have to, I've got the internet. I can go online, so that solves that problem. <laughs> and I have a camera. I have I can use my webcam, as you can see, I'm using it right now. And um, so I can do my daily walk videos. I have the internet. I'll be able to do email. I can do Discord. Um, I can make my weekly YouTube videos. I have a working video editor, I think. I didn't really totally use it, so I'm not sure if it really works or not, but I'm pretty sure it probably works good enough for me. But, but Zach is planning on getting me a new computer, and uh, yeah, so I'm just I'm just relieved that I. So it's a blessing. It's actually a blessing that this happened to me. Because let's say I was not able to get back into Windows and I really lost my ability to get into Windows. Then I would have been stuck. I would have been without the use of a computer and without the internet. And Lori would have had me, she would have won. I mean, temporarily. I would, I'd have to go to the library and let my, because my phone doesn't have internet on it either. I would have had to go to the library to let my men know that I don't have internet and it would have been a big pain. <laughs> it's like my computer works, but the Windows operating system didn't work. You know, I, I've got surge protection because I in 2009 the Jesuits sent a surge to my computer and I lost my monitor, my printer, and my computer. I spent a thousand dollars to replace them all, and I thought, okay, you know, I'm pretty good to go now. And then I bought a new computer, you know. And I bought Microsoft, the Microsoft 2007 Office Suite and WordPerfect. And I didn't realize that Lori would be able to, she took over Microsoft. And I had uh, Windows 10, which was working pretty good for me. Uh, well, what happened is, was my 2009 computer, what she did with, what the Jesuits did with that one is my power button quit working. And I wasn't able to power it up to get onto the computer, so I had to buy a new computer. And I bought a refurbished computer in 2015, December 2015, and that's the one I still have. And I just leave it on all the time. And that way I don't wear out the power button. But now, with all these Windows problems, I've been forced to use the, the only way I can turn the uh, computer off is I gotta shut down, I choose the shut down option, then I have to hit the power button to get back in, so I just leave it on all the time. But I'm not up to date on the Windows updates for obvious reasons. I can't do the updates. They don't work. They're filled with malware. Did you know the Colonial Pipeline shutdown was caused by Windows malware? It wasn't caused by Russian cyber attacks. That's lies. So, yeah. So, anyways, Lori has really messed up my uh, Windows operating system. And uh, Zach Knight has decided that he wants to transition me over to Linux so I'm experimenting with different methods to, uh, to do that. This is a very simple webcam recorder, but it works for me. And um, <laughs> this is what I'm, if I lose Windows on my computer, I know I can get in on the, I can put the other hard drive in and I probably will be able to use this for my webcam. And I will probably, I won't be able to use my printer, which, but I will be able to do my worksheet. My um, LibreOffice works great. I like it. So I'll be able to do like my, uh, I can do the word sheet, like typing text. I won't be able to print it, but I could make a copy of something I typed, save the file, and send it to my men via email. And I send them my spreadsheet so they know how I'm doing financially. I'll be able to do that. And I make my grocery list using the spreadsheets. And I, the LibreOffice is pretty good. Uh, and it, the GIMP is installed on Libre. So I'll be able to do a lot of the things that I could do on um, Windows, but um, I won't be able to print. And then eventually, Brent, I mean, yeah, my men are going to send me a new computer. It is a Gale commandment that I not spend any money above food and bills. So, yeah, eventually I'm going to get a new computer.
and I believe it's going to have Linux Ubuntu on it. So somebody suggested I go buy a new computer. That's a violation of the Gale commandments. I'm very strict about doing those Gale commandments. That's from Jesus. So, I, but uh, I will. I was able to uh, when I was on Linux Lite. I was able to get my uh, Microsoft Notepad to work. I was able to download the software to do that. Downloading software on Linux is kind of complicated, and it's. I was having a lot of issues with that. I worked on it for about two days just to see what functionality I would have with Linux. But I'm just absolutely thrilled now that if this happens again, and I lose Windows. I will not be out of the internet because I have a backup hard drive that works now. So I, I, all I have to do is if this happens to me again, I will just take the hard drive out of the computer that I have in there, put the other one in there, which is the backup drive, and I will be in business. I mean, except I won't have my printer. I won't be able to use my printer, but I'll be able to create my spreadsheets. I'll be able to make Word documents. I'll be able to maintain my website and create new posts at my website, which I need as U.S. president because my executive orders, my conspiracy law, I publish at my website. Uh, yeah, you all need to check out my website. I've made a lot of executive orders as president there. It's Gabriel And blog. And um, I'll be able to do all my Patreon perks. I'll be able to do my daily walk videos and post them to Patreon. I'll be able to do my uh, weekly YouTube videos, which is a Gale commandment, using this method. I mean, I could still do them, but I like using my webcam because you get to see my face. It does a pretty good job recording. You say, why don't you buy a new webcam? Jesus, I tried that once. Jesus didn't like that. <laughs> he said, your webcam works fine, Gale. Don't get a new one. See, the problem with all this newfangled stuff is it's contaminated with Jesuit malware. Like, Lori's been trying to get me to get a new telephone. I said, uh, uh I learned my lesson from Windows 10. I really wish I didn't upgrade to the new Windows 10. I think if I had the Windows 10 that I had in February and I didn't upgrade, I would be fine now with Windows. She deliberately created a new Windows 10 to introduce malware to my computer with the updates. That's what I believe. Uh, why did they have to upgrade to a different Windows 10? The Windows 10 I had in February was working fine. She did that to, to take away my computer. And um, fortunately, uh, the, the computer was working fine. Oh, look, look at this. This is, this is uh, <laughs> jewelry that Brent got for me. So, yeah. But good news is I'm testing this out. It's going to leave a watermark because I've already used this before. But, hey, at least I'll be able to make my weekly video. Um, I'm just testing this out just to see you know how uh how it, yeah i believe i would be able to do this online so i'll be able to use my webcam i'll be able to use my camcorder i have an online video editor at linux so i'll be able to do most of the stuff that i did with windows um but except the printer but lori She's trying everything to get me down. I mean, she's such a petty person. Trying to make it so I can't function as president. You know, I was t telling my people on, on my walk video today that if I was Lori McBride, I would hate myself so much for being such a horrible person. I would want to spend 100 years in hell as penance for being like she is if I was her. Yeah, I would I would I wouldn't be able to stand the, even the sight of me if I was like she is. She could win the Nobel Prize for murder. Anyways, um she hasn't gotten me down. I still have a, a she she's trying. I do have an IQ near 10,000, so I was able to figure out how to get Linux on that backup drive. Yeah, but anyways, you guys, if she does succeed in cutting off my windows before I get my new computer, I have a backup drive that works. <laughs> and I will, I'll be pretty functional. I'll just have to handwrite my grocery list. I was printing it from Microsoft Excel documents.
but I'll still be able to, I plan my grocery list using Microsoft Excel, so I'll use uh, Libre Calc, which is like, and I'll be able to use that on uh, Linux. So I'll be able to do everything I did before. I just won't be able to print. <laughs> Maybe when uh, Zach gives me my new um, computer, he might be able to set up some software on there that's compatible with my brother printer. I don't know. We'll see. So Lori is just such a horrible person. Brent Spiner never wanted her. Never. She extorted herself into his life using drug rape in 1992. He never wanted her. She maintained the relationship by death threats on Brent. Yeah, he gave me this necklace. This is like worth $1,200. He gave me these uh, earrings. Oh, by the way, he asked for my ring size about um, uh, three weeks ago. I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Lori's not going to like that. You say, yeah, he did. Yeah, Brent Spiner, yeah. You say, oh, you got a fake Brent. No, I got the real Brent. He's my vice president and my co-president. I trust him completely. I, I said, I want you to be co-president, Brent. Because we've got such a big, I've got such a big job. I basically handle like publicity with my website and everything. And I write law and he helps me to enforce it. And I said, I want you to feel free, free to disagree with me, to uh, let me know if you think I'm making a mistake because I want us to do what's best for the world. Yeah, go check my website and you'll see my latest to post. But the good news is, Lori did mess up my Windows operating system with her stinking updates. But if she succeeds in taking down my Windows operating system, all I have to do now is plug in the other hard drive and I'll be able to, pull, I'll be able to get online with Linux and pretty much do everything I was doing with Windows. So that's the good news, folks. <laughs> I guess that's for my 10. I actually do have an IQ about near 10,000 right now. So does Brent Spiner. So we probably got the highest IQ of any human in world history. <laughs> yeah, we're up against Satan, so we need it. Anyways, this, the good news is I do have a backup for Linux that, that will work if I lose Windows. Amen.